Assalamu alaikum everyone, Sam here. Um, this morning I, I just got back from dropping my son off at school. Um, so I look, you know, like I just stumbled out of the house. I got my husband's hoodie on. I'm wearing these crazy uh, pajama pants I stole from my mom's house. Um, I've got my slippers on. Uh, you know, my scarf is just thrown on. It's, um, it's literally just there for the purpose of being modest. So you can totally tell that I'm not trying to make a fashion statement right now. Um, my purpose of this video this morning was um, because I wanted to talk about hijab a little bit. Um, you know, there's this wide misconception, you know, for Muslims, um, you know, from other people, obviously. They, they think that um, one of the biggest problems that Islam has is um, the oppression of women. Um, and then more specifically, that they force the women and the girls to cover and wear hijab. And um, I just wanted to clarify that that's not always the case. Now, don't get me wrong. Of course, um, you know, there are people in the world who um, aren't, you know, as nice as others, you know, and it, like all religions, there are people that choose to be more extreme with their beliefs. Um, but that's not the majority. You know, those are, those are the very few, and we don't... We would prefer if you did not have them represent us because that is not what Islam is about. Um, the entire purpose of Islam is your intentions, what you choose to do for yourself. Um, and even if you can't successfully follow through with something that Islam would like you know, for you to do throughout your life, um, even the effort matters. You know, the fact that you're struggling with it and you're trying, those efforts matter because intentions are everything in Islam. Um, so when it comes to hijab, um, first of all, let me say that young girls are not required to wear it. Um, you know, pre-puberty ages, those are children. So they have a different level of modesty than, you know, grown women do. We have more things that we would prefer to cover than children. Um, but specifically with headscarf, you know, part of hijab, because a hijab is modesty as a whole. It's not just this piece of fabric that you see here. So, um, hijab specific, or I'm sorry, the, my scarf specifically, um, I just wanted to give you guys some examples of, you know, children, smaller children, mine specifically, my daughter. She, she has a love for hijab that I have been amazed by every day because, uh, at first, I tried to keep my my scarves put away, you know, keep them, you know, because I don't want them laying around. But she will go to extreme lengths throughout our house to find one, find anything to turn into a hijab for her to wear because she wants to, you know, do what mommy does, do what she sees her other family doing, and um, you know that's totally okay. And I think it's adorable, and. Um, I think it's important to remember that um, kids are truly sponges, so the environment that they are brought up in, the people that they are around, even if you as a parent are, you know, a good person and you try to practice good, um, good things throughout your life, if you bring people around your children that might have more toxic traits, um, your children will see that as well, and there's a good chance that they would repeat it too. So we have to be very mindful of what we let our children see. And um, I like to, I like the fact that I have a daughter now because she is my reminder that I need to be on my best behavior. Um, so when it comes to hijab, I need to make sure that I'm, I'm properly representing it. Um, it's not just a headscarf. You know, if you're wearing um, super tight clothes, which I do need to get better at, especially with, um, at work, I wear a lot of sweatpants, um, because it's hot in there and I like to be comfortable. So, you know, I can definitely get better, but when I'm out in public, I try to be a good example for my daughter and other Muslim girls. Um, and then also, let's see, I lost my train of thought a little bit, but, um, I just, I just want everybody to remember that kids are innocent and they, they follow what they see, regardless of it's good or bad. Um, so be mindful of what you do around children. And um, I wanted to do this video, I wanted to have something a little bit more positive because recently we've had a lot of tragedy, um, unspeakable tragedy. So 
I'm gonna share with you guys um, a little bit of my daughter's love of hijab because although she is only one years old she is an amazing creature and she has shown <laughs> in the funniest ways that she wants her own hijab so one of these days I'm gonna have to take her to one of these stores in Dearborn and get her some that fit her because it's hilarious so here you guys go, some pictures, maybe a couple clips of my daughter attempting to put on her own hijab. Uh, enjoy! Is that mama's scarf? Okay. Yeah? Uh oh, somebody's mad. Imani, Imani, what do you got? Imani, what is that? Is that a scarf? Or is that panties? I don't think that's a scarf. Oh. Give me the door, come on. Hi, Mama. Do I look so pretty? <laughs> oh, I look so pretty. Yeah, we're playing with scarves. Mommy looks so pretty. Say hi. Mama, 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 do you look so pretty? This must be it. Hi. Here it goes. Say hi, Mama. I must destroy that. Hi. Are you waving? Say hi. What did I just say? What's going on? Put that on. I must destroy so pretty. Wow, Mama. That's a shirt. Yeah, you look so great. Good job. Hi, Mama. Hi. Is that your hijab? Yeah? Or is that a towel with a hood on it? Hi. Hi. That's Mama's hijab. Hi. Can you say hijab? Can you say hijab? Mom, can I be inside of it? Ay, ay. <laughs> Is that your hijab? Uh, That's your hijab? Uh, you want some juice? Mm. I could use some juice. <laughs> Say bye guys. Bye. Bye guys. And there you have it guys. That is Princess Imani. Um, doing her own thing. Being a lady in this world. Trying to wear her hijab. Representing Islam. Um, but that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, if you would like to share any personal experiences or stories or even pictures of beautiful little ladies and their beautiful little hijabs or their makeshift hijabs like my daughter does, um, uh, you're more than welcome to and I would love them. So 
uh, that's all I've got for right now, guys. And as always, you know, I love you so much and I appreciate you for watching. If you have not subscribed, you know you need to because we're amazing. We're awesome. We talk about important stuff and fun stuff. Um, but that's all I've got. I love you so much and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.